one. Hello, I am Dr. Sabrina Soltz, and I am sitting here with one of my patients. Her name is Sherry. She originally came to me with a diagnosis of Durkheim's disease about almost six months ago now. And over that time, we've been able to help really dramatically improve her quality of life. So Sherry, would you mind just uh, sharing with us where you were before we started treatment with you? Well, I came to you because I was absolutely miserable. Every day I lived in pain, pain from head to toe, no relief, different levels of pain, at different levels, you know, different places in my body. So that day my head could be a two and my body, my torso an eight. I, I was miserable every day to some point. And I got what we call PRP injections. Is that correct? So in my we legs? Yes. So we ended up doing the PRP in the lower legs for that neuropathy that you were dealing with. And then we also did your own stem cells back in intravenously. Correct. So the, the PRP injections were phenomenal. Um, so tell us about what your neuropathy was like before that and then what your neuropathy kind of changed into. Well, my, my neuropathy was like every morning waking up and putting my feet on the floor felt like standing on glass. Uh, the first few steps of my day, awful, excruciating pain. And it varied throughout the day. It'd be a stinging, a burning, a running up and down in my legs, electrical, you know, shocks. And now they don't hurt. Like I, I occasionally I'll get some of that pain, like the weather changes or, or something, um, or maybe because I overexerted myself that day my legs will ache some, like anybody else's legs would ache, but it's not that same singing burning. I don't mind putting my feet on the floor in the morning any, any, anymore. It's been a great improvement in that area. And as far as what I feel I received from the stem cell therapy we did, well, I didn't want to get, I didn't want, I, want, I didn't want to stay on the couch during my recovery. I want to say about three weeks in, once I was able to take like that, the, the garment off the, that we have afterwards. Thank you. The compression binder afterwards, three weeks in, I took that off and I was itching to get off the couch. I wanted to go do things. I felt. And how amazing. was that different from before? I, I spent my day on the couch or in my bed, a variation of the two. I didn't want to leave my house. I didn't want to put on undergarments. I did not want to wear anything but a nightgown all day long because everything bothered my skin. Any weight on my body just added more to the fatigue of having to almost carry it around, it felt like. Now, like my husband and I are going out for dinner tonight after we do this interview. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And I remember too, when we were doing some of your initial follow-ups, you actually did things like cook big meals for your families and hosted some gatherings for the holidays, um, which I think was a, a pretty big deal for you. It really was because in previous years, you know, my kids are adults. So previous years they come home and mom would lay on the couch and do kind of instruction and oversee things from the couch because they would have to make the meal. They're in the kitchen doing the mashed potatoes, cooking the turkey because mom can't. I simply couldn't do it. Now this year I made Thanksgiving dinner with my kids in the kitchen. We all did it together as a family and it was lovely. And we also, I also hosted Christmas. Um, I may not have been up to putting up a Christmas tree because I was still in my like six to eight week recovery area, <laughs> but I did decorate the house in every other way. I shopped for gifts. I wrapped presents. We did brunch Christmas day. Um, it was, I was a lot more involved and a lot more active in our, our holidays this year than previous years for sure. That's amazing. I never stopped being so happy about your results. And luckily for us, those aren't uncommon results. So I'm, I'm so grateful that you were able to be here with me today and to share that. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Um, just that you made the whole process very simple and easy. And it was nice to even just learn about you and your family 
and be happy for, you know, congratulations on the newest edition. And, and just know that I am grateful. My family's grateful. My husband almost even joined me today, but he wasn't <laughs> going to be home in time um, so that he could say, hey, I feel like I kind of got her back, you know? So uh, we're just grateful for that. Well, from the bottom of my heart, I, I'm so happy that we were able to do this for you, that we were able to get you back to a point in your life that you can be happy about waking up to see each day and that you've gotten just such great results. Your, your pain is so much less. And like you said, your family is, you know, you're able to do things with your family that you weren't able to do Absolutely. it before. And I think that's, that's yeah, the most we're making important. Plans. We're making plans for the future now. We weren't, you know, we weren't even really thinking about that. It was more of a day-to-day -day kind of thing. And now my husband is saying, wait, I'm close to retirement. And I'm thinking that when you go back, because we banked myself, mm -hmm. whenever, yes. whenever I come back to you and I plan to around that year mark, yes. he wants to come. He wants to do it too. Perfect. Like, well, I, won't you. I won't be able to keep up if we don't, if I don't go do it. Well, I would be entirely honored to see him and of course to, to welcome you back. Awesome. Thank you. Well, Thank you so much, Sherry, for sharing with us. All right. Absolutely. Well, have, hope you have a great evening.